think a lot of students have just gotten another sense of how to belong and how to create relationships outside of what were the traditional avenues. And a lot of my students talk about how they feel safe in the eSports program, and that's their family, that's their community. And I think that eSports gives kids a future that they might otherwise not have. Man, I wish that had been available when I was in high school. Hello everyone and welcome to the Connecticut Esports State Championship. I am Perino. I am joined by my co-host Audio. Audio, we have some fantastic Rocket League action coming up today. Absolutely we do. It is going to be the Connecticut Esports State Championship here. CIAC, they're in their second year so far of supporting esports in their organization. And we are going to have some incredible teams battling out. Both of these teams have been extremely successful throughout the season, but only one team can walk away with a victory. Absolutely. Again, we're going to have a phenomenal best of seven series lined up for you guys. And our two participants today are Newtown High School and Xavier High School. Again, both from the great state of Connecticut. We're going to cut over to our bracket and show you guys the path that they took to get here. Again, the Falcons beating the Goons and the Centaurs to get to this point. And the Falcons coming in, uh, we talked earlier, have an incredible, actually, perfect record. Yes, 7-0, and zero, 21 games, no losses, have 3-0 swept every single series they played up until this point. Yeah, it's such an incredible display of skill. Again, this is a very, very talented team. But this is the state final. These are the two best teams in the state. They are both here for a reason. You cannot discount the matchup. Again, we'll have to see it on the pitch, but I'm really excited to see what these two teams can do. Yeah, coming in when you're looking just at the records, you, you, you would obviously give the edge over to the Falcons, but there's a lot more that goes into it that you have to realize. These two teams were on opposite sides of the bracket, so they never played each other during the regular season. Perhaps this is just uh, maybe an easier side of the bracket. Maybe there was more of a skill discrepancy for the Falcons, and maybe we saw a lot more talented players on the side of Newton's bracket, and perhaps that you know kind of fire might have strengthened them coming into these finals they have more experience they've played more games just to be fair um and we'll see if that experience will come in handy as they try to take down the falcons undefeated season yeah again you have to give a ton of credit to newtown as well you know building that momentum through the playoff bracket again they were the second ranked seed in that bracket so they did take care of business to get here so you know we can't we can't count them out of this it is a difficult matchup, no less, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what they can do. And of course, none of this would be possible without play versus. They have been setting up high school esports leagues all across the country. Today we are in uh, Cincinnati and Connecticut, I apologize. But I mean, it's really just incredible what they've been doing, creating this new sport, this esports e now for these players to participate in full leagues. You know, there's coaches, there's, you know, stats, there's leagues, there's scholarships on the line. You know, it's really rivaling traditional sports, basketball, baseball, football, etc. And they've, it's allowed these players to really find their niche, find their group that they might not have been in otherwise. Absolutely. I think the great thing about this is that it is officially recognized by the athletic conferences within the state. So it is on the same level as a high school football team, a basketball team, track and field, all of it, you know, can be grouped together with this esports division as well i i so wish i had this in high school Are this is great me? yeah right i mean i missed the boat a little bit you know born a little bit too early for this but yeah i i just think it's absolutely incredible the work that they've done and again another note to mention here particularly with connecticut today what's really cool is that they're actually competing at the same facility they're at the johnson it's wales esports e facility yeah. Which I think is absolutely incredible. I mean, you look and you're talking about a high school that even has a training facility for traditional sports, you know, a basketball facility, football, anything like that. And you're thinking like, wow, that, that's incredible. They're really invested in this. But with esports being so young and they're already have their own dedicated facility where these players can come, they can practice, really put their grind on. I think that's an incredible step forward for the esports scene as a whole. And I can't wait to see what kind of talent it produces. And we're going to just get to see some of that today yeah and I think the great thing about playing on land as well is you get that 
team atmosphere that you don't have online, right? You know, you have everyone grouped together, playing the same game. But guys, we're going to jump right into it. We have game number one between Newtown and Xavier. Let's see who can pull this out. And we're starting it off with a goal as Sir Swan is going to score the very first shot here. Again, Xavier jumping out to an early lead. They have a ton of confidence coming into it. The undefeated record. This is a phenomenal start for them. It absolutely is. And hopefully, you know, Newtown can bounce back from this one. First shot's going to go to the left where it's waiting. Here by Xavier, they're just going to center it right now, kind of ping-ponging back and forth. We'll see who ends up with possession. Yeah, both teams, again, you have to feel it out in the beginning of the game, right? You're trying to assess the matchup. You're trying to see what each team is capable of doing. You have to pick out the right passes and get going early. And we didn't really get to see too much of that very first shot as we came in right as he was bouncing into the goal. Uh, so unfortunate that we didn't get to see how that one turned out. Right now, some really good defense by Xavier. They're keeping a lot of their members on their side of the field, wanting to hold on to this early lead. Yeah, I like from Xavier the big, booming touches. Very technically skilled here. They're Ooh, reading the ball well and making there. really great contact. They definitely are. Really good contact, also really good defense as well. You can see Newtown just trying to keep it on the opposing side of the field. Let's go down the middle. It's deflected away by Xavier. We saw a demolition there. Off the wall does come to the center, but nobody's quite there to find the look. Yeah, I think Xavier's almost playing it a little bit conservative. You know, they have the one goal lead. Again, still very, very early in this game. Just trying to feel each other out. They have to make a save here. Very close to going in. Swan able to deflect that one off to the side. As Newtown will look for another look. It's in the center. But you see Xavier just dribbling down the field. They're wide open. The demolition, though, is going to stop that one dead in its tracks. I love that from Newtown. You have a player one-on-one. -on -one, you just take him right out of the play. Shuts that play completely down. Really smart defense. And they're going to fire right back to the same thing the other side of the field. The ball still not finding a shot into the goal. Swan, another great save as it comes directly at him. He has been a beast on defense so far. Up into the air, shooting it across to Newton's side of the field. Hitting it across to the middle. You can see Dern's perspective here as he tries to just get it clear. Again, I think Newtown's really holding their own here. They did concede the goal early, but they this has really been back and forth since that opener. It'll be interesting to see if either team can find another as we're looking at a defensive stalwart right now. We are. You know, we didn't get to see that first goal as well. There's a lot of goals that come right off of the kickoff that can just have an unfortunate bounce. You weren't quite in position. You didn't expect it to go that way. Perhaps that's what we saw there. So right now, Newton looking to get onto the board themselves tie this game up. Saw Demolition in the background there. All these shots just going too high every single time there's defender waiting. And again, Xavier starting to make this physical play. They're starting to build that aggression more and more on offense. I like the adjustment. I think it's coming for them, but we'll have to see. These goals are getting so close and they finally get one in. Joey is able to find a score just continually. This non-stop barrage of shots at the gold. Eventually, they sneak one in. Yeah, Xavier has really picked up the pace of play here in the past minute or so. They're really driving through on those rotations. They finally found an angle that worked for them. A deserved two-goal lead. And this is a little bit scarier for Newtown now. When you're looking at the 1-0 you know, lead and you have that defensive stalemate, it's just one goal it needs to get you back into the game. 2-0 now with just under two minutes left. You have to start to pick up the pace. Absolutely, but again, nothing is impossible no. with how Best of seven. And, and with how frenetic Rocket League is as a game in general, it, it can change so oh, quickly. That's a really good look. Can he go up? He does. Swan knocks it up above the goal once again. This man is just an unstoppable force. Yeah, again, it's just really smart defense from Xavier as well. They're playing really well overall, both ends of the floor, applying pressure, making really solid touches. I'm impressed with them so far. Impressed I am as well as Joey dribbles it down the field, gets it past one defender, but Dern is there to block the shot. Yeah, and again, you're seeing some really good defense from Newtown as well. They're surviving here, but they, they have to transition into that offense. Is surviving going to be enough. You have just under a minute in this first game, down two goals, and they really need something to come online right now. 
as again, Xavier has really had the best of it, you know, in the latter half of this game. I just think that Newtown, they have, they have to score quickly because you need to give a second opportunity. That one turned aside. What a goal or a save there by Dern. Once again, just flying across the goal, knocking that one away. That was a very powerful shot by Xavier. Really good defense so far by Newton, but with 20 seconds left, they need to score a goal on this push. I don't know if there's gonna be enough time. Again, it just depends. Xavier has been so good when they're in that offensive half. They've been suffocating on the pressure. I don't see it, but they, it's gotta be now. It does have to be, but on their side of the field, it doesn't look like it's gonna come out. And this one is going to go to Xavier High as the ball touches the ground. The Falcons coming off to an early lead, 1-0 in this best of seven. Yeah, they actually, I'll say this. Both teams played excellently oh, in that first did. game. You know, we saw some really great defense on both sides. I think both teams rotated really well. They applied pressure in the right spots. They made really good technical touches. Xavier, that, I think that first goal was so important for them, though. Yeah, absolutely. And coming into this match, I mean, you look at Xavier, they have an undefeated season so far, 21-0. and zero. No team has been able to even take a game off of them. And I think seeing that Newton was able to just hold their own throughout that match is really good. Kept them to two goals. We'll see if they can score themselves this time around. Again, we're jumping right into game number two here. Xavier High taking down game number one. We'll see if they can follow it up with another winning performance. And this time, the ball immediately being sent down to Newton's side of the field, but a little bit of a misstep, not able to connect on that goal. Yeah, I think Joey might regret that one. He really <laughs> had a great chance to score there, but just couldn't quite find it. But again, they're resetting and applying a ton of pressure still. Once again, a drive right down the center, but Newton is able to turn it away. They have had some great defense all game. And again, Swan looks like we'll find the pass. It will go straight in. Plushy opens it up for Xavier High. Sir Plushy finally able to find it. You can see Swan just setting him up here, making sure the ball is nice and center. Sir Plushy drives in right down the middle, is able to hammer that one home. No defender in sight that time for Newton. Yeah, and we have seen this continual press from Xavier. It is really working for them. Again, just so suffocating. The way that they're managing their boost, rotating through. Oh, this one could be it though, but Zingis is able to finally score a goal for Newton High. What a beautiful setup from the back of the field, able to just bounce it off the ceiling, put it in position for his teammate. Really smart placement on the goal there too. Goes for the opposite corner, takes the defender really out of the play. I like that a lot from Newtown. Hopefully we'll see more of that from them. Yeah, Newtown seems like they're starting to come alive. Remember last game, most of it was a defensive stalemate, as you pointed, and I think that describes it perfectly. These two teams seem to be very evenly matched. Yeah, and again, I just think Xavier has done a better job. The difference for them has been the pressure on offense. They, they have been susceptible to the counter, but... Again, I, it is working Ooh, for them. Goal is wide open right now. It is up in the air. Xavier has been given a chance to come defend, and Swan once again is going to turn that one away. His defense has been impeccable. Yeah, again, both teams just playing it smart, playing it cool at the moment. That shot has to be dealt with. Mr. Blushy coming in over the top just too high. That would have been such a highlight goal if he had been able to knock it in. But again, good defense by Newton High. Once again, turned away, but Zingas on the save there. And again, what we're seeing really is just an onslaught of pressure. I feel like I keep saying it, but Xavier's <laughs> not, they're not letting them breathe in their own third. You know, they, they keep finding the passes and they keep cutting off the defensive plays. They, again, they're building up towards another goal. And another shot was taken, this time turned away by Dern. He was dribbling it up the field. Can he find this pocket? Joey is going to be the savior that time around. Yeah, Newtown starting to work more of these infield passes as they bounce out of the corner and off oh, the backboard. This could be dangerous, but Dern was there waiting. See Newton really focusing on keeping one member back at all times. Just shot and saved, shot and saved. Been the story of this series so far. Sir Plushy this time turning that one away. 
Yeah, I think we need to see a little bit more passing, though, from Newtown, that offensive third. The direct shots aren't working. They're usually getting turned aside. But I think if they can change the angle of attack somewhat, they might find some more success. And we, we've also seen Newtown is only committing two members to the offense. They are always keeping somebody back in the gold no matter what. This time it is going to be Dern who is sitting there waiting in the corner. But essentially they're putting themselves at a man disadvantage when they're on Xavier's side. Yeah, and I get the threat too, you know. This, again, it's an undefeated team. You know their goal scoring prowess. You know how good they are. So you have to be cognizant of it. But you have to be willing to take risks as well. Yeah, Dern able to save that one. Tries to dribble it past Xavier, but it is brought back to the gold. Sir Plushy bouncing it off the corner. They're just trying to center it. Look for these looks. Swan has a good shot, but it's going to be Bazingas turning that one away. Again, really nice technical shot there, rotating through the air to put that on target. We're seeing really great saves on both ends, though. It, this is feeling like overtime. It definitely is. A minute left. One goal will put a team in the lead. That's all it's going to take. But will they be able to find it? The shot right off the left goal post. That one was very close to going in. Bazingas is able to steal the ball away. But here comes Joey to put it back in the corner. Centered up. Demolition looking for the shot. Nobody there. Yeah, again, Newtown slowing it down a bit here. I think they're just trying to regroup and reorganize after some of these demolition plays. I like that changeup from Xavier, though. They're starting to get more physical with their play, trying to do something different. Absolutely are. Thrown into the back corner, up above, way too high, and nobody there on the cross to complete on the goal. Now it's back in Newtown's court. He goes up, but he's not able to find the ball. That was such a close two shots, just barely missing off the corners. The third one turned away by feeling kind of grumpy. And Newtown just dodged a series of bullets. They still have to survive, though. It's not over. Three seconds. That one just barely missing. Oh, my goodness. So many close goals. We are going to go to overtime, though. Oh, Xavier's going to be ruining that one. They had two <laughs> really good chances to put that away in regulation. It is sudden death overtime now. First goal wins the game. Oh, boy. Now, what I want to know is how long is this going to last? Because we've seen a total of four goals scored across two games. And it's not going to last very long. And Sir Squan is able to score, bringing Xavier up 2-0. Yeah, you have to say it's a bit deserved. They had so many good chances at the end of the game. Just... Finally, finally broke the defense. They had so many shots, so many chances on target. You felt it was coming. The Falcons taking a close one, though. Yeah, that one, a lot of fight brought back by Newtown. Swan was able to come in over the middle, and he saw this gap in the defense. Hey, these members aren't quite in position yet. He was able to get under the ball, pop it up into that top right corner. Very nice, clean goal. Yeah, and one of the things as well is you have to capitalize on the kickoff when there is disarray, right? Absolutely. You know, when teams are out of position off the kickoff, you know, a bounce might take a certain, you know, direction that people aren't expecting. You have to be able to punish and capitalize. They were able to do it in overtime. Yeah, and we saw time and time again that's what Xavier was able to do. They were always attacking nonstop. And a great defense there by Newtown, but eventually you get tired. You can't block 100% of every single shot, and it was just those, just just a few of those that slip by them that is costing them these games. And just like there that, Joey <laughs> opens it up for Xavier. Again, it, the advantage that Xavier has demonstrated is they are getting these early goals off the kickoff. They're sort of thriving when Newtown is maybe not in position or not fully set. Yep, now lining up for this second drive here. Newtown really need to pull a win out here if they want to fight back in the series. 2-0 lead for Xavier High. The X3 Falcons undefeated, looking to make the perfect season, not dropping a single game. Can Newtown put a blemish on their record? Again, we'll see. Newtown has been very close in both games so far. I feel like they can do it. It's just a matter of being able to find those unique angles and tough shots. They got to score them. Long arcing shot there, turned away by Xavier. A little bit too high. They're playing it safe back on defense right now. Newton having trouble getting as aggressive as their opponents, but good dribble pass there. So they're going up, looking for the shot, turned away by Bazingas. And again, 
I do like the technical prowess there from Xavier, working on that air dribble, trying to score it directly. It's a, uh, a really nice finish there. Absolutely is. Now, Newtown still looking to get onto the board into this game. We see a demolition there behind camera. Maybe a couple seconds where they're a man down. Bazinga's back on the field. Looking to dribble it through, but Joey's going to keep it down centered. Couple of nice bumps up into the air. Yeah, and again, we're, we're sort of seeing this back and forth here. Neither team really, you know, creating definitive chances. This is that oh! one. Oh, and it's going to go in. Bazinga sneaks it past Nick. He tried to block that one, but just a little bit too far forward. Yeah, it's almost a really great save. He just gets that. It's just not quite enough of the crossbar. Bounces right down and in. Newtown, I think, getting a little bit of a break there. But again, you, you have to take what you can get. Yeah, you will take those nine or ten times out of ten. Every goal is definitely a good one, unless you score it on yourself. Uh, but we <laughs> haven't seen that happen this time around. As now Joey goes up, not able to win that contestion. Yeah, and again, we're seeing this from Xavier off the kickoff, you know, in this early play where they're sort of, again, capitalizing on the disarray. I think Newtown, what they have to do is they have to respond with aggression of their own early in these sets. Yeah, that's something we've really seen missing. When they do go up for the attack, it's always two, maybe even one member. They really prioritize that defense. Right now, a great shot by Swan turned away. We're driving up the middle of the field. Just kind of bouncing around right now. Yeah, that was a really nice passing play from Xavier there, but also really good defense. Again, finding the demolition and taking it away as best you can. Here, Newton driving up the field, able to get it past one. Joey, though, is going to clear that one away. Good look towards the middle, but unfortunately, nobody there to capitalize means Xavier Swan. Once again, just the brick wall of Xavier, the X3 Falcons, is keeping it safe, driving it across the wall and setting it up for Sir Plushy to bring it home. Yeah, and again, we're seeing more of the physical play. The demolition early, getting it past the defender in the corner, just opens it right up. Sir Plushy in a great spot, knocks it home. Xavier up 2-1. Two 2-1. To one. Two to one. Newtown going to be pressured to at least tie this one up, try to push for that overtime. They have a good look at the middle. They're able to drive it past, but Zingas ties it right back up. And what did I say? A great counter off the kickoff. They get a bounce to go their way. Bazingas challenging early, finds a wide open net, takes his time, puts it in. A great equalizer. And that's exactly what we need to see. I want to see more from Newtown. Get onto the opposing side of the map. You, you, obviously, defense is important, but scoring the goals is what's going to win you those games. Exactly. You can't win without scoring. You have to get one more than your opponent always. Right now, bouncing off of the corner. It's going to be driven away by Newtown High School. As they are looking for the setup. They have someone in place, but Xavier was able to get there first. That was really well defended by Xavier. That shot could have been incredibly dangerous. It was a really nice pass setup. But again, they had the foresight to see the play early and deal with it. As they do it, driven down through the middle. Thankfully, Dern was there just outside of the goal to be able to keep that one out of their clutches. He's just seen back and forth, trying to set up these plays off the corner. Both these teams really liking that. One minute remaining. Again, you feel if a goal comes now, it's going to be a killer. That one just wide. They're trying again, but this time Sir Plushy is able to knock it away. And I like the aggression there. All three members from Newtown were able to get onto the opposing field. That's what we need to see from them. Really starting to come alive here in game three. Yeah, they had a really nice chance there. We'll have to see if Xavier can deal with it, though. They're still under a ton of pressure as they're finding the outlet now. They have 30 seconds to score a goal until we go to overtime. You see just a constant barrage of shots here from X3 Falcons. Off the corner, looking for the center. Popped up into the air. This could be dangerous, but Zingas looking for it just shy on the right goal post. Yeah, again, that is a very difficult chance to put away. You have to change the angle of attack in the air. Never easy. Three oh my goodness. seconds left. The ball in the air. Will they be able to find the shot? Just needs to hit the ground. And we will be going to overtime once again. Yeah, again, I love this. This is back and forth. This is great Rocket League. Oh man, there's so much pressure again. Overtime twice in a row. 
Shot being thrown up into the air. This is a dangerous position. Almost converting on the goal there with Xavier High. Remember last time we went to overtime, they were very quick to shut it down. Yeah, and again, I really like the patience on the backboard there as well. You can see that ball bouncing high. Just take your time on the backboard, clear it away, reset, get ready to go again. Hampton High in possession of the ball right now, looking for an aggressive play. All three members down here, but it's cleared out by the Falcons. They're looking to make a push of their own. And again, Newtown has to find the passing plays in transition, right? They're trying to find their teammates forward and sort of kill that pressure from Xavier that they've been so effective with. He's going to be cleared away. Stop dead in his tracks by Joey. But right now, wide open look is blocked by Sir Swan. Both these teams really not getting a whole lot of aggression done. This one is a good setup. Joey making a slow shot there, but that should be an easy turn away from Bazingas. Yeah, I really like Bazingas' spot there. Again, took his time, read the shot, and dealt with it effectively. I, again, just been so back and forth in this overtime. I, I can't really call who the break is going to come for. Oh, the demolition is going to be almost enough. The shot was just barely too high. That was probably the best look Newton have had so far. Weren't able to convert. That's so unlucky. Oh. It's such a great setup. The attacker going through, taking the goalie right out of the play, but that ball just doesn't get the crossbar right. Bounces down and out. And you need to go down and in. You know that if they do not come home with a win in this game. They're going to be looking at the VODs on that one and really just, you know, it's hitting a, themselves for that. It's a killer, but you have to maintain your focus, right? Absolutely. You, you have to keep playing. This is, you know, for everything. Wipe it from your mind. All that matters is the next shot right now, bouncing around the middle of the field. Can drive towards the goal, set up nicely, but knocked away. Swan almost had a really impressive goal there, and that's a nice save as well. Great save there by Dern, just stopping the ball short from the goal and Joey is able to take it through setting himself up and scoring I love this angle of attack from Joey picks up the opponent's boost and just lays it up for himself right off the side of the post there again not allowing the defenders to come out and contest it he gets that double touch into the top corner holy cow what a series and the x3 Falcons are now one game away from their perfect season 3-0 up in this best of seven series. They have not lost a game yet. It's been close. They've been taken to overtime twice now. I'm sure that's not really familiar territory for them. Yeah, you have to imagine most of the games are dominating, but Newtown is fighting for every inch. They're contesting every shot. They are scoring goals of their own. Again, two games into overtime speaks for itself. It can easily go the other way. We'll see if Newtown are able to pull it out here. This has to be the game you have to get aggressive. One game standing between Xavier and their perfect season. That was almost a really nice chance there off the kickoff from Newtown. You know, we've seen generally from the kickoff plays, they've gone generally in the favor of Xavier. That one better from Newtown. Absolutely was coming around the side. Joey knocking it back down in a way. You can see Newtown fighting for every possession here. They just want to keep the ball over that halfway line. Great bump up in the air. That could have been a shot. But again, I like the defense from Newtown as well. They're, they're getting really smart, solid touches. They're keeping the ball away from Xavier. They're doing a much better job of it later in the series. That mistake could be painful, though. Oh, but another one coming through from Bazingas. Not able to find the touch means that it was not capitalized on. Dern coming up with a very great aerial stop. Make sure the ball stays away from that goal. Bazingas on the save, going up into the air, knocked away by Sir Plushy. Yeah, that's a really nice save there as well. Again, getting up early and turning that ball aside into the corner. You always want to try and clear the ball back into your own corner to allow a teammate to help clear it out. This one still a little bit contested. Shot back towards midfield. Bounce back towards Joey, but nobody there to connect with that one from Newtown. Drive towards the goal, blocked away by Dern. Once again, these shots are coming in rapid fire and Sir Plushy will find that one. There was some interference being run on the goal. Yeah, Joey being an absolute nuisance to the opposing defense, just going in, taking him out of the play. It's worked for Xavier in the past. They find an opener here using that physical play style. And that is some incredible teamwork coming on. Joey just, just saying to his teammate, hey, I got this. Don't worry about the goalie. He's going to be taken care of. 
the two-pronged attack works out for them once again. They're 1-0 up. If they can hold on to this lead, they will have an undefeated season. And again, you have to have so much trust and faith in your teammates here, right? You have to have the confidence that you guys can close it out. They're playing really well so far. Ooh, a nice open look, but blocked away. Newton not able to get there quite fast enough. Looking for a goal any way they can right now. Joey clears it up into the air. Neither team is going to grab it, and Joey on the bottom end is going to knock that one in once again. The setup and the finish from start to end, it is Joey. Yeah, again, I think he was looking for his teammate up high over the crossbar. Nobody really finding a touch, though, and Joey just continuing the play on his own. Takes it straight through. Yeah, you can fall into that trap going up to try to contest for that ball and just forgetting about the man on the bottom. But Sir Plushy is able to find another quick score off of the kickoff. And with a 3-0 lead, things are looking dire. Look at the speed from Sir Plushy as he gets up on that wall, too. He has, again, the right idea going up against that wall and just booming that ball off the kickoff. Again, when players can't get ready, can't get set, those shots can be extremely difficult to deal with. And we've seen a lot of fight back from Newtown High School, but it seems like Xavier, they're just getting hotter as this series continues. Yeah, their confidence has to be really high. Again, when you're in these close games and still pulling it out, it builds so much confidence. Oh, but a great look there. Finally, Dern is able to find a point for Newtown High School. With two and a half minutes left, they are starting to close the gap. And again, just following up his own play, right? Not allowing the defender to clear the ball, getting right up in his grill and just stuffing that ball into the back of the and net. And that's the play that we need to continue to see from Newtown if they want to put a blemish on this perfect record. Great flip up over the defenders, just barely too high, hits that crossbar, and it gets sent the other way. That was really great technical execution there on that shot. It just wasn't quite good enough to find the back of the net. I love that slow play though off the kickoff. Again, getting that flip off the tail of the car, getting that height and power, so nice. And we've seen that potential there so much for Newtown as once again the ball bounces off the crossbar where they're able to set up these plays but just so closely missing on the execution. These players are obviously incredible but it seems like Xavier just has that slight edge. Yeah, and I think part of it too is Xavier's ability to contest the ball early. You know, they're trying to cut off the lanes for Newtown's offense. I think they're doing a really good job of it. You know, that's a great example there where the defender's coming out of the net and getting to the ball early. Drove it right in through. There was a defender there, but he wasn't in position in time. Sir Plush, you got to pick up the easy score. And I love that touch from Swan off the wall there. He knows his teammates is coming up through the middle. Just gets a really nice, soft touch. Sets it up beautifully. And now 4-2-1. A three-point differential here with just a minute and a half left. Newtown need to pull out everything they have right here and now. And again, it's such a huge task and there's so much pressure. This is for everything. They just, they got to find it soon. And this might be the start of it. Once again, just inches too high. That's got to be demoralizing for Newtown. Knocking it backwards over the 50 mark line. Swan looking for the dribble up. His team just passing it back and forth. And another goal from Sir Plushy pushes the hopes and dreams of Newtown even further out of reach. Yeah, and again, I think it's just Xavier with the offensive pressure. It's been too much in this game. They found the confidence and the ability to score. They're just, they're driving it home. They know what they have to do to win. And this series seems to be all but over with a four gold lead. Xavier High School, the X3 Falcons are looking to close in on this perfect season. And one more to the list as Sir Swan scores. Again, their confidence is just absolutely sky high here. Look at this, beautifully set up from Joey, looking for Sir Swan the whole way, drive it in, easy money. Have mercy, Newton High School is already down and they're just piling the goals on top of each other. This has just become a shooting range here for Xavier. Oh, that was almost a really great technical goal from Newtown there, looking for that double touch off the backboard. Again, I don't think it would have been enough, but it certainly would have been a great highlight. It definitely would have. Now back in the corner of Newtown, looking to take it up off the wall. 30 seconds to score five goals. Mere man might think it impossible. Newtown High School looking for a miracle. 
Yeah, but you have to say that Xavier has played so well on match point here. Again, they feel like the deserved victors. You, you just have to give them a lot of the credit. The most dominant game we've seen all season came game four, one way away, and Xavier is five seconds from being undefeated champions of the CIAC. And just as that ball touches the floor, congratulations to them. A really stellar series from them and deserved champions. Deserved champions indeed. Going to give a round of applause to the X3 Falcons Xavier High School. I mean, that is an incredible feat that they just pulled off. Not only an undefeated season, not only winning every series, winning every single game is another incredible accomplishment. And then taking it all the way to the finals of the championships, not dropping a game. I mean, can we... There, there is no dispute. They're just incredible. Well, I'll say this. Newtown played phenomenally did, well in that series. They took games two and three to overtime. It was really back and forth. They, they really only got, I would say, outplayed, I think, in that final game. You have to give Newtown a lot of credit. They showed up today. They did everything that they could, but it was just a little bit off. You know, some of those chances just didn't quite bounce their way, and, and that's just how it is sometimes. Newtown, hold your heads high. That was an incredible performance. Like you said, they were toe-to-toe -to -toe with them every step of the way. Game four slipped out of their hands a little bit, but games one, two, and three, even though they were losses, they were able to keep the score very close, and like you said, multiple minutes in overtime every time around. So I think Newtown... Definitely one of the best of the best, but this time Xavier were just a little bit better. Yeah, and again, on the same note, you have to give Xavier a ton of credit for playing well under pressure. Overtime, again, it's sudden death. First goal wins the game. There's, you're on land, you're with your friends. You can feel it mounting because you know what's at stake, but they played well. They got the job done. Again, overall, a great performance. What I really loved was they played as a team. You know, Absolutely. every player contributed to this. Every single time you saw a goal, it was beautifully set up. They were able to find those corners. They were using the corners very well. And if you know somebody wasn't there, the original player would just come in and take it once again. Uh, I, I thought it was a beautiful play. And if you guys at home are interested in playing just like Newtown uh, and Xavier 3, the, the, the winners here, you have a chance. Spring, summer 2020 for Play Versus. Registration is open at playversus.com. That's playvs.com. You can sign up to get your own high school involved in this scene. Yeah, and Play Versus is offering a ton of different games. Again, we just saw Rocket League here today, but they have League of Legends. They have Smite. They're just now adding Fortnite. Again, tons of opportunities to play with your classmates, play with your friends, you know, make a team, compete, have fun. It's a great experience. And to get on the stage as well. I mean, these players are incredible talents, and esports is an industry that is absolutely booming right now. There are so many career possibilities on the line. Colleges are looking for scholarships for players playing. They want to give them you know, full rides. And so to really get your name out there and for Play Versus to give these players a stage to compete on and a place for people to watch is truly incredible. This is an opportunity that cannot be passed up. Absolutely. And again, we also would like to give a huge shout Shout out to Connecticut State University as well. Again, they hosted this final matchup in their facility. So both schools got to come out and play in their eSports center. You know, really beautiful setup. And it's such a different experience, right, playing in person and having that camaraderie and that faith in your teammates to be there together. Absolutely. Well, thank you to everybody for tuning in. Coming up next, we are going to have some League of Legends for the CIAC. So don't go anywhere. Thanks for watching Rocket League. We'll be back soon.